Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Today we'll be going over database ecosystem monitoring available in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. You now have a centralized overview for your Oracle database system monitoring. Critical components of the database system, such as cluster, ASM, and listener resources, can be viewed alongside database availability to obtain a complete picture of your database system's performance. The Oracle Database System Monitoring currently supports external Oracle database environments. Within the overview of the database system, you can see the availability status for all of your resource components. You can utilize the time period selector for historical analysis with the options of 1 hour, 24 hours, or 7 day views. Alarm status is displayed for the resources in the database system, which allows you to quickly assess resource issues and drill down for root cause investigation. You can also view connection configurations for your resources in the respective tables. The cluster overview provides information for your database cluster, including the connector information. You can see what versions of grid infrastructure you are utilizing, your cluster name, and the cluster mode. The availability timeline displays each node's status during the selected time period. Interconnect throughput is displayed in a chart giving a quick insight into read and write rates along with any error rates that might be experienced. The cluster instances are displayed giving quick statuses of the node and grid infrastructure availability as well as the CPU and memory utilization of the hosts. The database resource overview has not changed during the implementation of database system monitoring. The only addition is an availability timeline located on the overview page above the top metrics charts. Administration tasks can still be performed here. You can view the alert log, perform SQL tuning advisor tasks, manage database table spaces, view database user properties, configure database parameters, and more. The performance tools can be accessed by their launch buttons above the resource properties, including Performance Hub, AWR Explorer, and dashboard features for database management. Also, capacity planning and SQL Warehouse AI Ops features can be launched from the same location. The ASM overview displays the availability timeline for the associated ASM instances. The disk groups managed by the ASM service can be seen and sorted by size, utilization, or name. At a glance, you can find which disk groups are nearing capacity and also the relative size of your disk groups. The ASM instance status can be seen with the hosts they are running on. Finally, you can view which databases are serviced by the ASM resource along with the database type and their disk group associations. You can also utilize the ASM performance page to view stats on the ASM service. Tabs are available to view metrics based on disk groups or ASM service databases. You can filter the metrics displayed based on disk groups or ASM instances for rack environments and alter the historic performance view with a time period selector. The database performance tab can be utilized for performance investigation related to ASM bottlenecks. Outliers and top database consumers can quickly be assessed with the database level charts. The metrics charts provided give insights into response time, throughput, I.O. operations, and operation size over time. Finally, the last table will provide additional information for either the disk groups or database serviced by ASM depending on the tab you are viewing. This provides disk group attributes such as redundancy configuration and utilization or database configuration information. In the Listener Resource Overview, you can once again see the availability timeline for the resource. You can also see the performance of the listener during this time, along with the connection information. A graph displays the max connections possible, refused connections, active connections, and established connections during the selected time period. The serviced resource information can be seen as a search feature is available to find specific resources. Expanding the database dropdown, gives the capability to see supported service names for the resources as well. Here is a short demo of this feature. To navigate to the external database system feature, you can go to the hamburger menu in the OCI console, down to observability and management, and you'll find database management overview here. From here, you can go to the administration page, 
select your deployment type as external and you'll see the new button to discover an external database system. Once this has been performed, you'll notice that the database system now shows associated with your database. You can also go into the database page and in the database information, you'll find a database system located here. This is the new database system resource, which encompasses multiple components, such as clusters, databases, ASMs, and listeners. You can see the availability timeline here, which shows the status for each during this time period. Green, all components are up. Orange, some components are down or missing data. Red indicates all components are down. And gray is missing data. We have a time selector here where you can see the last 60 minutes, the last 24 hours, or the last seven days. Hovering over this plot, you can get more information for your availability during this time. We can see that the database was partially up during this time. Scrolling down, we can see more information for our other resources, all in one location, with their availability statuses and some additional details. We can drill down to the individual components and we can see the external cluster details here. We can obtain more information such as the version, cluster name, grid home, and the scan listener for this cluster. We can see the cluster nodes availability timeline here, as well as our cluster interconnect information. We can get more additional details for our cluster instances, such as our ADR home and our host name. We can quickly see the CPU utilization and memory utilization for the hosts as well. And we can navigate back to our external database system by going to the database system link. We can navigate to our databases. And we can see not much has changed with the implementation of database systems here. We still have our summary with our top metrics, but we will see the availability timeline now. We also have the ability to check our instances for the database and we have availability timeline for each. We also have our metric breakdowns for each. So we can quickly assess which instances are consuming the most or might have issues. We do not have any PDBs for this database, but we could also check them out if we did. Navigating to our ASM instance information, we can see the availability timeline for each ASM instance. We can obtain additional information for our disk group usage and quickly assess which ones might be running short of space uh, indicated by the color. We can also see top disk group consumers and we can filter many of these based on utilization, size, or name. We can also see which databases are serviced by ASM and the disk groups associated with them here. We can go to the performance for our ASM and we can see tabs broken up for disk groups or databases. Here, checking on our disk groups, we can see response time, throughput, I.O. operations, or operation size. We can also obtain additional details for the disk groups in the table below, such as the redundancy, the usage, and the mounted or unmounted LUNs. The database tab shows a similar view, but it's going to be based on our database resources rather than disk groups. This allows for finding any databases that might be consuming much more 
than other databases within the same ASM. And finally, you can see a list of service databases and the disk groups associated with each here. And finally, scrolling down to our listener resources, we can get more information for our listeners. We can see the availability timeline again, and we can see our connection status. We can see the max connections refused, active, and established during this time period. We can also see our service databases and we can get the actual supporting service names for our databases under the table. Thank you for your time.